Okay, what do we have this time? Carriers of B. thalassemia, a mild blood disorder, found the incidence of the disease to be 4% in a population. A recessive allele on an autosomal chromosome causes B. thalassemia. So recessive autosomal is kind of what we're used to seeing for these traits. That means that big T would be the normal condition where you don't have thalassemia, and little t means you do be thal. I'm short on space, I'm just going to say be thal for be thalassemia. And they tell, so, sorry, they say uh, that 4% of people have this condition, which means they are double recessive, right? If you are big T, big T, you are completely fine. Big T, little t means you're a carrier, but you're still fine. Little t, little t is the only case where you have thalassemia, and they tell us that happens 4% or 0 0.04 of the time. So that's our Q squared. And what do they want? Find the frequency of the dominant allele. This is the level of genotypes where we're looking at entire people. If we're just looking at alleles, then we're down here looking at P and Q. And the dominant allele is P. All right? So make sure you're going for the right level when you work on a problem like this, or you can waste a lot of time. Our usual workflow is we start with Q squared, we jump down to Q, then we jump over to P, and after that we come up to the Hardy-Weinberg formula to find whatever whatever answer they've asked for. But in this case, all we're going to need is from Q squared, we're going to find Q. From Q, we will find P, and P is actually what they've asked for. So this will be a little briefer than usual. Perhaps we know Q squared equals 0 0.04. But we don't want Q squared, we want plain old Q. So we can do that if we square root both sides. The square and the square root kill each other. And that leaves us with Q equals 0 0.2. So that's how, that's how often the recessive allele shows up, 0.2 or 20% of the time. P is 1 minus q. As in, together you and I have to find a dollar. I've contributed 20 cents. That means you have to contribute the other, how much? 80 cents. The p is 0 0.8, and this is how often the dominant allele appears. It means if you looked not at people, but just at their chromosomes, or just at sperm cells and eggs, you would find this population is 20% little t's, and 80% big T's. That's the frequency of the dominant allele.